Hello, this is Buona from Buona.tv, and today I want to talk about Battle Breakers. Today I want to talk about the Battle Breakers 1.82 patch. This patch dropped it the other day, and it added a bunch of cool features, so let's jump right in it. First, and probably the most notable feature of this patch is PvP. Player versus player duels have been added to Battle Breakers. You have the option to duel a random player for Battle Pass, XP, and other rewards, or you can spar against people in your friends list. The way this works is that you go to the social tab, scroll Scroll down your friends list, choose someone, and click spar. With PvP, you can set up an offensive and a defensive team for an asynchronous match. Nothing is in real time. So beforehand, you can set up your offensive team, go in and duel random players or spar against your friends, and set up your defensive team to take on anybody who wants to fight you. Again, all of this is done in the social tab. Epic has gone on record to tell us how the duels work. Opponents with similar amount of duel experience will be matched against each other. All hero stats are adjusted in duels. All heroes are limited to level 1. Commanders receive additional stat improvements. And beware, sudden death begins much faster in duels. Also note that when you do challenge a friend, you won't get any rewards or battle pass XP, so it's essentially there for practice or to see how your defense stacks up. I noticed that there's no way to see how your defense is actually doing, so sparring a friend may be the best way to do it. Next up in this patch is the new battle pass entitled Dark Generals. You can purchase the battle pass between February 5th and March 2nd to play and unlock three new heroes and a pet. We get a a pet called Wachowzen, the Nature Phoenix. We also get a five-star variant of Selene the Reaper called Nightshade Selene, a four-star warrior called War Drummer Amare, and a three-star dark warrior called Dakra Soldier. There's also been some tweaks to the autoplay AI, so you'll notice that your healers are doing a lot better now. Autoplay AI can now be toggled on or off. When it's off, your units will only attack in sequence. One of the best little minor changes I see is that autoplay can now be set to stop in the final room. Oftentimes, when you do a harder battle you can auto through most of the beginning rooms but you turn off auto for the boss this will automatically do it for you so you can do it sight unseen it's nice to walk away from your desk while you're doing the trash mobs and then come back to your desk when the boss is ready to fight lubu's warlord now applies the correct amount of defense and rust lord spray and prey has been improved it now spreads terrain wanderer's yajan mirrored blades is now capped at 300 percent of the buff's target's attack all in all it's a great patch but the battle pass provides a little bit less xp i think the rewards may have been adjusted a little bit you'll notice that you'll be earning less XP than the last battle pass. PvP adds a very, very cool flavor to the game, a whole new element, which is very early in this iteration. It needs a lot of work. There's a lot of open gaps in it, but it's a great start. So that's Battle Breakers 1.82, lots of chunky content to go through. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please subscribe and ring the bell for updates. Also use my creator code Buana in Battle Breakers, and if you defeat the rebosses, I get compensated for that. So thank you Epic for having me as an Epic partner. Also, please join my Patreon at patreon.com slash Buana to help me out. This is my full-time thing and this helps me out greatly. Enjoy the Battle Breakers 1.82 patch. I'll see you next time.